This is James from Gamefront, and we have a very special occasion today. We have an early, an early access to uh, Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. We have some restrictions. I'm not allowed to show the Civipedia, so don't ask. I'm not doing it. And we're allowed to have 200 turns, which, the way that I typically play, takes a little over forever. But, uh, so don't worry. We have plenty of gameplay to show off. This is the load screen. I'm going to read it to you. Um, this expedition is an opportunity to start over. One for which Palestralia is well prepared. We have always been an economically we have always been economically superior. Although I am concerned about the beings we may encounter, I remain hopeful. Though we may be outnumbered by savage beasts, we will find some intelligence with which to ally ourselves. Are you ready for this? I feel like I should just stop the stream. You're not ready for this. This is civilization beyond Earth. Play. Hello. I am the Advanced Integration and Simulation Resource, or Advisor. I am equipped to introduce you to the basic systems that will guide your development on this new planet. Additionally, I can provide strategic advice based on situations you encounter. How would you like me to proceed? So, I'm not new to civilization. I'm not new to Beyond Earth. But I'm certainly not an experienced player. I feel like that's pretty big. So, I'm going to I'm going to select new to Beyond Earth. Uh, I have a pretty good uh, pretty good idea of Oh, well, I'm going to do full guidance. Not for me. I mean, I know all this stuff. But for you, just in case. Or affinities based primarily on which technologies we invest our research in. As we level up in a specific affinity, we will gain benefits which will help us adapt to life on this planet and unlock powerful upgrades to our military units. Um, I've personally played quite a bit of Civ Beyond Space and I have dumped all my hours into Harmony. I'm going to go for Purity. Now, Purity is, it reveres and preserves our origins on Old Earth and reshapes the new planet in its image, an ideal home. For an ideal human race. And that's the one I'm going to choose. I, I guess that's not really a selection screen. It's just letting you know. But no advanced intelligence. These life forms do not appear to be overtly hostile. But I would recommend caution when deciding to engage with them. I have also detected what appear to be large abandoned structures of unknown origin. Use the explorer unit to investigate these sites. There may be valuable artifacts left behind. Okay, so these these uh, there are no barbarians because we're lost in space here. Select a suitable location for our people to make planet fall. This but there are the aliens. City. Select a plot within the red border to land. Hmm, a plot within the red border to land. I feel like I should do it right here because I think when you put your city down, I'm not 100% sure you get a lot of extra stuff. But at the same time. I don't want to be that close to the water. So I'll try that. So we have made Planet Fall. Oh, here we go, finally. I don't know if you know that I've been trying to get my, my laptop to boot up. It takes a while. It's a, it's a very bad laptop. Naughty laptop! Alright, so uh, now I have access to the chat. And, uh... So there's a lot of people that I'd like to say hi to right now, such as Controlled Chaos, Talon519, and Sakarata uh, Shishashir, uh, and A. Jample Ford. You guys get a hello. I'm not going to say hi to every person. I just don't have time for it. All right. So we're going to select a landing site. I did that. It's right here. Uh, and then we're not going to look at any of that stuff. Thank you. Because uh, I think that kind of leads us into the Civipedia, and I know a lot of the things that it's going to say. Choose a production. One of the very first things you need to do. My economic advisor tells me I should build an old earth relic. That's going to get me culture. I choose that because the faster... Uh, and I could be wrong, but my gut says the better your culture, the more people come in and to populate it. Also relying on food. Um, so... I did that for because I want to get people up, 
you know, early. I'm also not allowed to show the entire tech web. I don't know the exact areas I'm supposed to cut off, but generally I'm not supposed to show end game tech stuff. We're going to start, since we're doing purity, we're going to start with physics, because I not only want the rangers, but I'm really looking for the rocket battery later. Um, eh, pioneering is a good one to start with, too, but not today. So, and we're going to escape out of that, return to map, and a unit needs orders. So, this, uh, this unit here has several orders. I can attack. It's an explorer. It's not meant to attack things. I can put it into move mode, but unless I'm crazy, it's already in move mode. Uh, I can do nothing, which, you know, that's not what got me to space sitting around doing nothing. I'm not choosing that. I can be on alert, which means that enemies that come up next to it will wake me, and I'll have a defensive bonus. Uh, fortify, which is a defensive bonus. I, I don't really know why you like what the difference here is. There are certain things that just go beyond my uh, understanding. And then there's automated explore, which when uh, I'm not going to do automated explore right now because it's a lazy man's way of playing the game. Uh, but I, I think that the automated explorer is actually not a bad thing. And here is my, my worker, I believe. Looks like an SV, SVC from StarCraft. So he's going he's gonna to work on the land, and uh, the, they recommend that I construct a farm here, which is absolutely a good idea, because the farm's going to give more food, support more people, more people creates more production. I mean, that is really what we want to do. So let's see here. We're going to move to the farm spot, which is going to be the entire turn. i got to wait for the next one to do anything, but that's okay. Victories updated. So here are the different victories that we... Able to assist oh, I'll let him talk. So I guess if that's it. He's, he can just assist me. So um, the promised land. When we left Earth, we swore an oath to find a new world and bring them out. Uh, I need to launch a laser corn satellite. Oh, laser. That's, that was weird. I've totally mis misread that. Laser com. It's like laser corn. I know laser corn. Uh, transcendence. Research trans genetics. Uh, research the swarm intelligence. And research nanobiotics. I believe I can only do the swarm intelligence if I, if I'm, if I go the harmony path, which I'm not. Discover the pro progenitor signal don't even know what that is domination this sounds like what i want to do conquer all other players capitals not in fact that's almost never how i play civilization but in my harmony playthrough that i did personally i was constantly wanting to attack people because i was getting fed up with their bs and now's my chance to have revenge and emancipation just for the heck launch one laser comm satellite that's the same thing I write at the top. So you could win two with that, huh? I have no quests currently, which I'm fine with, because I've got a lot on my plate that I don't need any extra quests right now. So this is turn zero, I guess. Uh, when we click next turn, it will be turn number one. That might be a bug. I figured that should count as turn one. So let's see here. Uh, this is another group of people that have just landed. The Megans. Uh, Samatar Jamabar of Africa Union. So I'm not going to declare war. I'm not prepared for it. I have no deals to offer, so I don't want to... Like, if I offer somebody a deal, I want it to be a deal they cannot refuse. And right now, there's nothing. We can discuss. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not going to discuss anything. In fact, I'll talk to you later, I promise. I'll make time for diplomacy. Toxic Miasma. Now this is a huge change in Civilization Beyond Earth. You can't really see it too well, but there's this green smog over here. It damages a unit that stands on it every turn. So the, when I played this at PAX, the first time I played it, I had left my... I was trying to heal my units, and I had left them in Miasma. And I realized I took damage once. I was like, oh, well, I just took damage. But it never healed all the way, because it's sitting there. Oh, and this guy's in miasma right now. 
Not a good sign. Let's move this explorer further out. That's where I'm headed. The problem is, this is this is basically, you could call it a treasure chest. Thank you. Uh, contact another Excuse colony? I have Not problem. today. Um, but that is a pod, I believe, and it has you know, resources for me. Oh, this game, somebody's hoping that this game turns out nice. I think it's going to be a controversial title because it's very different from Civ. I love it, but I'm not like a diehard. <gasps> God dang it. God dang it. Oh, I just wasted a turn trying to click somewhere. It's so much different than the other civilizations. I've only played Civ Revolution, Civ Five a bunch, and uh, I think I played like Civilization One or Two. And this is my favorite, but it is very different, which is what makes it my favorite. Uh, all right. So, I guess next turn, I got nothing else I can do. I screwed that up. Every turn, somebody new is going to land. This is the Karabarost, which. This is who I played in my personal one. Oh, he looks good. I like that character. He reminds me of the grown-up like kid from Small Wonder. Alright, so let's go a little further. I might as well just go straight for it. I want that research pot. It can be... I wouldn't call it a game changer, but it can certainly help things out. Please let me start building this damn farm. Resource pod, right here. So, I can't wait to see what's inside. It's it's different all the time. Are there space battles in this game? Well, full disclosure, I've played beyond 250 turns, but I, I never saw any real space battles. I did see air battles, but it was, you know, in the same sense as all Civ battles are. You know, it just flies around in a spot. In a good way, I like it. But you're not going to be like Star Wars Battlefront invading people's battleships or anything. Alright, let's make a farm. I can't believe it took me to turn three to start my first farm. That was a shame. Uh, my old Earth Relic has got a couple turns left. And uh, 12 turns before I grow bigger. That's sad. That's a lot of turns. All right, you found a portable reactor and fuel source inside the resource pod. You're able to activate it despite some damage and gain 60 energy. Boom shakalaka. Now energy is to expand your land. So if I click here, I can purchase these for energy. Uh, and I have 69, so I could purchase this water land, uh, this water plot here, which is pretty good, but I'd prefer to wait until I can get 80 and take this land one right here. You know me? You know me? Alright, so let's return to map. Uh, I don't know if you can expand to a different planet yet. It, I would, the way the game feels, I don't think that they are going to have the expansion to different planets. Oh, I'm going to construct an expedition now. That's the other thing these explorers can do. I'm off to a good start with my explorer. It's a shame that my f my farm had to take so long to start. So we're going to go right on into the next turn. Oh, let's just take a look. That's the artifact. Thank you. Quests. You have a new quest available. I have a new quest. Well, let's take a look at the quests. Gifts from home. Find two resources po resource pods. I already found one. So I'm going to be able to complete that quest. Pretty sure of it. Oh, you guys haven't even seen the aliens yet. They are sons of bitches. They really are. And I don't use that term lightly. Like, when I played in PAX, they destroyed me because I wasn't prepared. I was trying to heal my units in Miasma Fog. And then when I played at home, I was trying to be, like, have harmony with them. But it's not simple to get harmony with the aliens. It takes time. And I had to fight so many of them while I was doing it. Luckily, I don't see any aliens by me, which is the first time I've played that uh, with this with this kind of luck. And I think I'm ready for the next turn. I'll finally be done with the old Earth Relic in a moment. 
They cannot attack me on land, but if you have a ship in the water, good lord, get it out if you see one of these things. They might look like cuddly, or snuggly, or no, it's snuggly. Framped? I always mistake Framped for Snuggly the Crow just because of his floppy, snuggly ears. Uh, choose a production. So they want me to do clinic. And I think they might be right, actually. I was going to go for soldier, but there's no aliens around me, so I don't really feel like I have anything to protect myself from. And everybody should be working on stuff right now. This guy, it's going to take him four more turns to construct a farm. It's going to take a while. <gasps> of course, there's miasma Your right. Has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage. Thank you, thank you. It's going to take nine turns to uh, do an expedition there, and I'm going to sit in the miasma. That's not good. I think I can last that long though. I hope I can. It'd be really embarrassing if I can't. So, three more turns. I have enough energy, almost a couple more turns, to buy that extra plot of land, which means really nothing because I have no civilians. Uh, really. Next turn. These early turns can be quite fast, but it slows down when you start dealing with, uh, you know, mass amounts of stuff to think about. Mass amounts of stuff. 78! Give me my 80! Why? Why do I care? I don't know why I care. You know, uh, Talon's ashamed of his evil conqueror side, and I am too. It's uh, not of yours, of my own. Because um, even when I try to start up and play in, uh, in a civilized, harmonious way, I find myself starting wars with people. That's not where I wanted to expand, but of course that's the one they gave me. It's the cheapest. Quests updated. Find an outpost. Research pioneering. That'll be the next thing I do. That's how you get a second city. Familiar exotics? When we came to this planet, we brought a number of plants from Old Earth. Somehow, one of these plants has taken root outside the free land and turned invasive. If left unchecked, it could convert the local environment into a more Earth-like ecosystem. Whether or not that is a good thing must be decided. Well, I will make that decision. And I will make that decision now. Contain the outbreak of the plant that I left or ignore. And I'm going for a puree. So I'm going to ignore it, because I want it to be more like Earth. I don't care if it turns out like Earth Detroit style or Earth Malibu style. I want Earth, and I want it now. Okay? Oh, how's this doing over here? Six more turns? I can't heal there. I already know it's not going to work. Develop a virtue. And I'm going to go for these over here. Choose the virtues that will shape your civilization. You spend your accumulated culture to acquire them. The deeper you go in each row or column, the more bonuses you will earn. <sighs> okay. So now I have 80. I could spend my money, my, my energy on... Where did that plot of land go? This is the one I wanted. It costs less now. That's good. This is the one I want. But I don't even have enough people to work at the places I own. So that's a waste. I'm saving it. This is a big change for me. I never think about the future. I usually am about instant gratification and satisfaction. And I want Earth now. Alright, let's see. Farm is done. Now they want me to put energy somewhere. Which, I guess I will. I wish I could move more and do something afterwards. 
Another quest decision. The invasive plant has begun to spread, eliminating other resources from the surrounding land. However, the species has shown to be a great potential prop, as it grows faster and larger than it ever did on Old Earth. Our scientists believe that through low-level genetic modification, the plant could be made to serve as either food or energy. We simply must decide what's more beneficial. Well, I would say that we want more food, because we want to have many many people it's gonna take a lot of people to make Detroit and it doesn't Malibu too I mean it's a little more exclusive but oh, five more turns can I last that long 40 hit points and I'm losing 10 per turn mathematically the answer is no mathematically the answer is no so let's step him out here Heal it up. God damn it! I should have done that math earlier. Gandhi is always a jerk to Talon. And you know what? Same with me. I can't I can't believe how they've made Gandhi act in Civ Five. It's er it's ridiculous. He's a real jerk. Alright, four more turns for that. Okay, next turn. How much is he healing per turn? Is my question. 50. 10 a turn? I wonder if I have to restart that whole expedition. I hope not. The temple doors of the protectorate are open. Goodbye. Goodbye. Free land has grown. So we have two people. I'm going to make sure that they're going to the right spots. Typically, they do put people at the right spot for you. Hmm. It's pretty good. But I'm going to put him over here. Oh! Yeah. Screw it. I'm putting him there. That would limit our production. I'm going to do it like that. Next turn. Seventy hit points, and it was going to take nine, so I got to have him full health, which will be next turn. This guy is working hard. Three more turns for the generator. What are we going to choose to produce? They say a worker. I guess. I guess that's a good idea. I really. Yeah, you're. They're right. Why would I argue with the game? Yeah, this is not a free game. It is not a free game. This game is... But if, you know what? I'm thinking about it. This game gives a lot... And I don't, I'm not by any means reviewing Civ Beyond Earth. I'm just saying the Civilization games give you a lot of bang for your buck. If you play through one game, you're talking like 40 hours. Well, that's an exaggeration. But if you're playing through one game with a couple of friends, it takes a long time. And then you can also play solo style. And it's one of those games that you just can't stop at taking just one more turn. Because it's just one more turn, you know. In fact, I'm going to take one more turn right now. This should be 90. Ugh. It'll kill me if I go over there and it's not enough health. i got to go one more time. <sighs> And one more turn for that. Groovy. Develop a virtue. So, 25% strength and ranged strength against alien life forms. 
or 15% towards military production, towards military units. Well, gosh, I'm going to go for this. It's, uh, I'd rather just get military units faster, which is really a good thing, actually. I have not gone through the might virtues. I went through the whatever ones at the end. I think it was maybe intelligence. So where's my worker? And what do you think we should do next with the worker? I'm going to take a look at the map. I'm going to move him to here. Because what you got to think is, like, I don't need to improve on land that I don't even have a worker at. So i got to move my worker to where there's already people, which is right here. And, of course... Oh, it's going to let me take another turn? Good. And how much health does he have? Must be 100% health, right? Back into the miasma. And how long does it say it's going to take for that? Oh, five more turns. That's good. That's good. I'm glad. Uh-oh. Who is this, and why are they bringing an explorer down by me? Four more turns to get a worker. And how many turns until I expand? That's the problem, is... I'm going to only expand... It's going to take me 18 turns to get another civilian. Why am I building a worker? Hmm? I don't know. Maybe if I get more food. No village was ever ruined by trade. It's hard to find good neighbors on this planet. I'd like to establish a cooperation agreement for the betterment of both of our peoples. What do you say? Hold on a moment. All right. Hey guys, I think I should tell them that we're going to work together and act like I'm working together for generations and generations, and then snap. And bring old Earth here. You know what? Yeah, let us work together. I mean, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay. Hmm. So. What do we got? Quests updated. Blood bank. That's, that's a decision. I'll finish that quest quick. Make a choice. I choose things all the time. Second nature to me. Build a biofuel plant building in Freeland. What am I looking at? Alright. Alright. Outpost that. Quest decision. So... Since opening our clinic, the populace has been split by an ideological divide. Securing and improving our new territory has put great strain on both our military and civil workforces, and both contend that the hazards they face should be offset by state-sponsored health care. Our fledging colony does not have the resources to do both. Which, then, has the greater need of aid? Well, I'll tell you what. Oof. I guess it should be... I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to have to go to my advisors. Uh, and like every intelligent person going to their, their advisors, I will take the first answer I read. And I'm going to wait for it. 